Are you covering up your reptile's terrarium mesh in order to trap humidity? If you are, stop! My name is Mariah Healy and I'm a professional reptile husbandry specialist and the author of Reptophiles.com. One of the most common complaints that I see from tropical reptile owners is that they're struggling with inconsistent humidity. I live in a desert. Believe me, I know the struggle. You miss the enclosure and then an hour later the humidity levels have dropped once again. There are several reasons why an enclosure might be struggling to maintain higher humidity levels. For example, inadequate or inappropriate substrate, not enough surface area to collect the water droplets, high ventilation, low room humidity, poor humidity probe placement, etc. However, instead of looking to address the problem holistically, the usual advice that I see is to reduce the enclosure's ventilation. This drives me crazy! As a reptile husbandry researcher, one of my primary goals is to create husbandry strategies which optimize reptile health and minimize trips to the vet. Reducing airflow in a tropical enclosure is not healthy. At best, reducing ventilation decreases the enclosure's available oxygen, and at worst, it increases the animal's risk for stagnation-related bacterial infections, such as respiratory infection and scale rot. As if that doesn't condemn this practice enough, it also goes against the second of David Meller's five provisions of animal welfare under good environment. Provide shade, shelter, or suitable housing, good air quality, and comfort comfortable resting areas. Before reducing airflow in an enclosure that is struggling with its ambient humidity levels, it's better to try other solutions, such as using a thicker or more moisture retentive substrate, adding live or artificial foliage, or even adding a humidifier to the room. And this can actually be good for your health too. Another solution is to use an automatic misting system to mist the enclosure more frequently, but in shorter durations so you don't accidentally flood your setup. For more professional reptile care advice, make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a heart for the algorithm.